Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have some friend mail and a Dollar Tree haul and a visit from Mr. Wellington. You say hi, buddy. He wants me to let him out, but I'm not going to. It's late. It's like 7.30, but he doesn't need to go outside. All right. Okay, so quick health update. I'm not sure if we can see or not. Yes. No, those are my scars. But I have all these holes. I went to physical therapy before I came home tonight. I'm still having a hard time with, oh, not my underarm, but this motion and behind my back. I'm still tight and sore. So he did dry needling today. Ouch. I mean, it's uncomfortable. He sticks a needle in the muscle and then he wiggles it and it just releases all the pressure. So it immediately felt looser and sore. I'll be sore for a couple days, but I was able to get much more mobility today. So don't let the pain fool you. It does hurt a little bit, but it was like immediately I felt relief. So that was awesome. So I did that and I just got home and I want to do this Dollar Tree haul so I can get up tomorrow. And I got some exciting friend mail I wanted to share with you. And I'm not going to say who what her name is because I don't know if she wants me to put that out there. But um, one of our subscriber friends found this cookbook at her Dollar Tree and sent it to me. Is that not awesome? So it's Ohio State University Cookbook. And there's all kinds of recipes that I can so ketify. And they're all Ohio State. And it was regularly $14.99. That was so sweet of her. And thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. And it may make some recipes for some games. Because this weekend is the first Buckeye game. So excited. So thank you. It just humbles me, to be honest. But I, and I so appreciate it. So we have some Dollar Tree stuff I want to share with you. Um, first thing that I have over here is a lot of stuff. But I finally found the cotton stems. Now I'm going to take this one apart because I'm going to put it. I have a, um, I kind of started decorating for fall as I'm, I put summer stuff away to make room for the Halloween's giving stuff. And, um, I think I have a pair of scissors here while I chit chat with you for a second. Maybe. Yes, I do. So, um, I was at a Dollar Tree and I was super excited that I found these. Finally, I've been looking for them for two years now. And I picked up six. Some are going to go for an inside and some are going to go outside on my front porch. Now, my front porch is covered, so that's not a big deal to have things out there. Um, you know... They definitely are fake, but in a bouquet with a bunch of other stuff, you may not notice. Um, and if you can see, these are posable. So if you want to leave them upright or you can kind of spread them out a little bit. Yeah, I like These are not bad for a dollar a stem. Um, at Hobby Lobby, they're $6.99. So, and they're wrapped in paper, which is nice. So I grabbed six of these, like I said, a couple indoors and a couple out. Um, I bought at Goodwill a bucket. It's the shape of like a maple syrup bucket that you would use. It's smaller in the bottom, bigger on the top. I bought one for a dollar ninety, a dollar ninety, and I came home and spray painted it penny copper penny um, for the front porch to put like a flower bouquet in, and then those corn. The metal corns are going to go in it as well. And I grabbed two of these. Uh, the metal corns are orange and yellow. So I thought these would be good to go in there. And then a couple couple of these. And I'll have some other greeneries to go outside. Um, these are nice. And they're not bad for a dollar. I like tall opposed to wide. Especially on my mantle. And I will do a mantle tour as soon as I get it decorated for fall. Yeah, my arm, he said it will be really sore today. And he's not lying, but I'll put an ice pack on it, take some ibuprofen, I'll be fine by tomorrow. Because that's how we roll. I picked up 
10 of this sign. It's the, you know, just the hanging, thankful and blessed pumpkin. I'm making, and I will make a video, a porch sign that says welcome. And I needed eight to go up, but I wasn't sure if I needed extra because I don't know how tall this will be. So I picked up 10 of these and I can always, well, one of them is definitely going to get used for Sarah. I'm going to make the, um, my Pinterest, the gray striped. I'm going to make her one for her house in this size. So definitely I will use one of them for that. And the other ones will be for my, for my welcome sign that's going to go on my front porch. So I needed those. Super excited. Then uh, my stores, I hit the t-shirt jackpot. I went to two different stores, one yesterday, one today. These are Hanes. This is men's Hanes Beefy Tea in brown um, for fall. I'm going to do some, I wanted to do a uh, Cricut iron on, on them. And I don't care if it's short sleeve because I'll wear a flannel over it. So the brown one I picked, purchased for $1.00. Um, this is just regular Hanes tagless in this blue, like a royal blue, which is actually my niece Sarah's high school, the Philo Electrics. Hi, guys. It's their um, color, so I may make a Philo shirt and just take some yellow. It's got pocket tee, but I like it that it's long-sleeved, and this was a dollar. Duh, because they're all a dollar. I was super surprised. Like, the one thing is, when they get shirts in, they'll make, you know, whatever color it is, they're all the same size. So, it's not like they're going to have a bunch of blue shirts in five different colors. All the blue were one size. All the brown were one size. Um, now, they did have a couple white. Um, and this is perfect to wear under flannel. And this is also Hanes. And I think this might be a ladies. But it's just a v-neck, plain white v-neck t-shirt. Perfect to wear under, again, flannel with a denim jacket. You know, white t-shirts, they don't last forever to stay white. Um, I could definitely um, iron on, but most likely I'll just wear them. And then I got this one, which is not quite a white. And to be honest with you, I'm assuming it's Hanes, but there is no brand. There's no sizing. There's nothing. And it's just a plain white tee as well with a pocket. And again, these are great to just have for bum around. I need to get rid of some of my t-shirts. So for $4, I just got four shirts that I can wear on the weekends mostly, but I will definitely put the electrics on um, that blue so I can be a Philo electric. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, some Halloween stuff, but I'll do that next. I grabbed another pack of these that I saw for Luna, some Purita Dental Life. I'm going to be dog sitting the first week of October while Sarah is doing some training with her for her schooling. And so I need treats, duh, for the dogs. I grabbed a box. I'll give them to her whenever, but I'll have them when she comes. Not like Sarah doesn't bring her a gazillion treats because she does. Um, and this day at the Dollar Tree, it was apparently I bought everything in twos. I got two t-shirts. I bought two packs of these markers, the Silly Scents. I will probably share them with my cousin Addison, give her a box and I'll keep a box if I remember. Um, and I tried them out and that, actually they're a nice coloring. I wrote my name in all the different colors. They still smell. Yeah, she needs a pack of those. So I will take her a box of the markers and I will keep one for me. They'll go in my bullet journal. And I think what I'm gonna do, someone had asked if I would show my bullet journal. I think what I will do is maybe a vlog, if there's any interest in that, a uh, weekend vlog. And then you can, I can show you my journal and my craft room and all of that while I'm kind of doing stuff instead of making a formal bullet journal video because quite frankly, I'm really new to it and it's not that big of a deal. But I'll show you what I have. So we'll do that. I also picked up two of these fix all adhesives. I like these. I like E6000 as well, but I like to keep these on hand as, you know, when I need some, if I run out of the other. And these work just as well, to be honest with you. So I grabbed 
two of these. I like the smaller containers if I'm doing a specific project. And I wanted these to adhere my sign. I may staple them as well, but I think that the glue is going to work out better. So I grabbed two of those for that. I picked up one ribbon, just some of this um, burlap color ribbon. That's a repeat buy. And, ooh, I found the Step 1 Wonder Gel by Wet n Wild. People rave about this. These were the two fall colors I got. Um, the green is called Unteal Next Time. How funny is that? I think you can read it. I don't know if it'll show for you. But that's the color. And this one is Taupe as a Joke. And that's the color. It's a taupe. I like these both. I may give this one to Sarah. She likes these colors. Or it'll end up in her advent calendar, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I picked up two packs of these beads. The wooden beads. What I'm going to do is sort out all of the orange and black. And maybe a little green or purple in there. We'll see. For Halloween and I want to do a little beaded garland nothing large um, we'll see how many beads I get I may have to pick up a couple more packs but I wanted to do a little Halloween like beaded garland to lay somewhere in my house and I thought well these are great wooden beads so I'm gonna sit, sit down and separate the colors out and all the orange and black together so I grabbed two of those and there's 125 beads in here which is a nice count. And I tried to grab the one with the most orange and black for this project. What else did I get that day? Oh, I grabbed two of these. Ow, that does hurt tonight. Um, these are the Bella totes. I have one in navy blue. Um, but I have a lot of like first aid and medical stuff. Not medical stuff, but like first aid type things. Um... Allergy medicine, being, you know, cold medicine. And I thought I should do something with them. So I'm going to sort them out under my bathroom sink. So I got pink and gray. That's the colors mine have. And this is a really pretty pink. Um, there's a lot of, like, stringies on them. And they both come with lids. I have the pink lid over there. So I thought, you know, let's organize under the bathroom sink and get everything together right now they're in drawers but I want to put just makeup in the drawers so I want to get all the stuff out because I have some lotions and things but I want to take out I have band-aids extra toothbrushes toothpaste stuff like that will get stored in those tubs because that's what you do oh I'm already at 13 minutes girl I can really chat them up okay so I went today just to check out a different Dollar Tree and I wanted this sign and I found it. Eat, drink, and be scary. And this will go by my coffee bar in my kitchen. And it's just a perfect size. It's little, just because I don't, again, I don't put a lot of Halloween out, but enough just to have around. And I thought this sign was adorable. Um, it is glitter and it does, there's some fallout. So I'll just spray seal it. Um, to have and I thought this was adorable and I could hang it right by my coffee maker in my kitchen so it says eat drink and be scary they also had ones that says something about the wicked witch and her little monsters live here which is appropriate because my little monsters live here but I like this one because I thought it would go in my kitchen so I grabbed that and I really wanted this sign I don't know where it's gonna go but you know I love a good pun come in for a spell. I love it. Speaking of puns, I do have the, uh, the letter board that I got at the Dollar Tree a few months ago. Actually, I bought four of them because I wanted the extra letters and I thought $4 was still a good price. So I took all the letters to work and um, my, I changed the board about once a week and this week it says, if I was a Spice Girl, I'd be pumpkin spice. My coworkers don't think it's funny, but I do. So here's another one. Come in for a spell. This will get hung up somewhere. I just love it. 
maybe outside on my porch. I don't know. We'll see. But I needed it in my life. And I love the, you know, the, the play on rustic with the witch. And it's glitter again. I'll just spray it. You're not going to get much Halloween stuff at the Dollar Tree that doesn't already, um, that isn't glitter to heck and back. Now, this one was totally random, and I don't know, but I've seen other people with them. Like, these are Christmas pens. Like, what? And I don't know. Let's see if they write in blue or black ink or red and green, because I don't know. Blue. Blue ink. Oh, these are so going to work with me. Don't you worry. Yeah, they're both blue ink. What I don't love about these pens is the caps, but... It'll sit on my desk. I'll get one season's use out of them. And you know, when you're at the Dollar Tree, you need to grab things while you see it. So I'll just stick this in a bag that's got Christmas stuff in it for work. And I'll take it when it's that time. But I wanted to grab them because um, I need to write with these pens at work. So I grabbed those two. It was very random that I saw them out. But again, I saw other people. Ooh, why am I dark all of a sudden? Is that better? I hope so. I saw other people with them and thought, I better grab them if I see them. So I did. Um, I grabbed this back. It's a wall decor. I want to use it as my backdrop for a Halloween inspired something or other. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a black cat with the witch's brew. What's going on with my mom screen here? There. Uh, black cat with the witch's brew and spell books. So what I do is I'll hang it up on the wall back here behind me or upstairs and I can film in front of it for a day or two. For a couple, you know, fall and in October. We'll pull that out and I'll use it for a um, haul or something. I picked up for my little cousins. I only have two more things left, I think, to share. Yes. For my little cousins that aren't little, I grabbed them this candy. It is, do you remember the sweet, is it sour? It's just sugar, flavored sugar, but look at it. It's witch's legs. So you have orange, I don't know if it's different flavors. It doesn't, oh yes, green apple, orange, grape, and black cherry. Oh, they're going to have so much fun with this. So the different colors are different flavors. And they're little feet, and you just cut them off, and you can eat the candy. And I just thought, this is adorable, and I will take this to their house in October, and I'll put it with Addie's markers, but they need these in their life, I think. I feel like. I'm not sure why the light keeps going up and down. Do you notice it too? Mm -mm. So Halloween stuff for the kids. I don't usually buy them a lot of candy, but I thought that would be um, something that they would, there goes the light again, something they would enjoy. All right. The last and possibly the best thing that I found, which is legs, please. They're sticks. Okay. Dumb. Here. Go get it. They're stick. They're, they can go in the ground, but I'm going to put them in a planter. Like with my fall flowers, when I bring out Halloween, I'll bring these out and stick them in. Um, this is totally glitter. They also had them with purple and black instead of the orange. I just like the orange and black this year. And look at them. Are they not adorable? Um, probably they're going to go in my front flower that goes on my front porch when I bring out the Halloween stuff in October. Um, but yes, definitely jump on these when you see them. Um, they are a dollar a piece, but I feel like you have to have them both. Right? Right. So, I better let you go. That's been a 20 minutes of a bunch of stuff from the Dollar Tree. I hope you've been enjoying my DIYs, and I will have some more up for you soon. All right, everybody, you have a great one, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.